Linux gaming has always been difficult. Over the years, developers have slowly been supporting gaming on Linux. However, only 42% of the top 1,000 and 5% of all games on Steam are supported. Could Valve's new Proton compatibility package change this and make Linux gaming finally practical? Proton is a package of many different open source compatibility tools developed for Linux with the intent on seamlessly running Windows applications. The most important tool in the package is the Wine compatibility layer. Wine has been in development for over 20 years, tracing its roots back to 1993. It is a general compatibility layer containing open source clones of Windows libraries, as well as other code to translate Windows software to run on non-Windows systems. Although it has been developed for so long, it is far from perfect, with most software requiring some tinkering by the user to work, and many programs simply refusing to work at all. So by itself, Wine is not going to run all of your Windows games. This is why Valve has included many other compatibility tools such as DXVK and VKD3D. These tools provide replacements for Microsoft's graphics APIs, DirectX 11 and 12 respectively. They do this by translating Vulkan, an open source graphics API, into appearing as DirectX to the game. This means that DirectX games can run without having to use the poor replacements developed by Wine. Valve has also made their own improvements, including fixing many issues with full-screen gaming, increasing multi-core efficiency, as well as providing their own support in the continued development of Wine, DXVK, and VKD3D. Valve has created Steam Play, making it easy to use Proton by having it built into Steam for Linux. This means that all anyone has to do is download their games in the client and Steam will take care of the rest, including installing Steam Workshop mods. Currently Steam has a list of officially supported games, including older titles such as Quake and Ultimate Doom, as well as newer titles such as Tekken 7, Final Fantasy VI, and the 2016 remake of Doom. However, you can change a setting which will allow you to install any Steam game. So does this mean that Linux gaming is finally practical? Well no, not just yet at least. While Proton has made it easier and increased compatibility, there are still many issues and a lot of games that still don't work. Also, Valve says it may be impossible to support games that use complex DRM and anti-cheat software. However, it is a big step in the right direction and may even encourage more developers to support Linux natively. This video was brought to you by Skillshare. Skillshare gives you unlimited access to over 18,000 classes on everything from design to photography to marketing to technology. I use Skillshare personally to learn animation and I love their courses. As you're a Matica viewer, you can get a free month of Skillshare by using the link in the description. After that, it's only $10 a month. So give it a try and learn a new skill.